United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for a $1 billion donor contributions to the Central Emergency Response Fund, SURF, to fund life saving works in Nigeria and other countries. Guterres said at a pledging conference in New York that over the past 12 years, SURF has been at the forefront of humanitarian response. SURF is a pool of funding that supports critical relief operations in crises area around the world. The humanitarian needs have increased from $5.2 billion in 2005 to over $24 billion today. The UN chief thanked the 126 member states and observers, and the other donors who have generously contributed to the fund since its creation in 2005. SURF is without question one of our most important tools to reach people quickly and save lives, the UN chief added. This year, SURF, managed by the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, has funded life-saving work, allocating nearly $130 million to help prevent famine in Nigeria, Somalia, South Sudan and Yemen. The fund also supported relief responses in other places, including for Palesti refugees in Gaza, Rohaja refugees in Bangladesh, and those affected by hurricanes Irma and Maria in the Caribbean. Guterres then announced a surf allocation of $100 million to meet critical needs in nine underfunded emergencies in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Tarzaya, Cameroon, Mali, Philippines. Eritrea, Haiti and Pakistan. Protracted conflict and the impact of natural disasters, compounded by structural fragility and chronic vulnerability, meant that more people than ever before survive on the brink of disaster, he said. In 2018, protracted crises are likely to continue, while the impact of climate change is likely to grow and intensify. There is no sign of a let-up in humanitarian needs, the UN chief said, noting that this was why the General Assembly adopted a resolution in 2016 calling for an expansion of SURF's annual funding target from $450 million to $1 billion. According to him, the global humanitarian funding gap stands at $11 billion as of November. 30 and humanitarian response plans are funded at an average of just 60%. The Secretary-General stressed that a $1 billion surf would help to bolster contingency financing. $1 billion is an ambitious but achievable goal, he said adding, a strong United Nations needs a strong surf.